Well, I was living in New York at the time and had just flown out uh, to start a new project uh, on the Sunday night before the Tuesday of 9-11. Couldn't help but think about all my friends that I had in New York, the, the teams that we had working down in the financial district around um, the Twin Towers. So thankful to find out that our teams were able to to get out and that we didn't lose anybody, but so many lost their lives. I was actually living in Nashville uh, at the time and working on a political campaign. It was just the uncertainty of what was going on. Um, w is this something that was gonna be isolated to New York and DC, or were there other cities that were gonna be targeted? I worked for what was then Bell South uh, was now AT&T, so being in what was then the tallest building in Nashville, um, we were instructed to evacuate the building. I was a junior in college and I'd just woken up uh, and turned on the TV, I was getting ready for class, and about 10, 15 seconds after I turned on the TV, the second plane had hit the building and obviously classes for the day were canceled. I was nine years old when 9-11 happened. I was in fourth grade. They actually didn't really tell us much about it at school when everything happened. I mean, you could kind of, you definitely could sense that something was off, um, but I think they were waiting till we all got home so our parents could tell us and have that conversation with us instead of us having to hear it from our teachers. I wasn't able to get back to New York to home for about a week and a half. Uh, when I went back, the f there was a Friday night. I get home. The Saturday morning, I go down there. I wanted to see, uh, I wanted to see what it looked like. I couldn't get over just the sense of quiet and disbelief that everyone around you could feel it. We had a fire station right down the street, and they had lost 19 of the 25 firemen uh, in the Twin Towers. And to see those pictures and the candles burning, remembering those firemen and the fact that how selfless they were, all the first responders. Sadness more than anything. Uh, we all felt it. Um, loneliness is another one that I felt. That no one really knew what was happening and what was to come of this. It's just the visceral scenes of, you know, the first responders rushing into the Twin Towers and the smoke and it just looked like a scene out of a, you know, a third world um, civil war, honestly. There were so many heroes, um, first responders, civilians on, you know, United Flight 93 who, you know, knew they were going to die and just made the heroic sacrifice to, to ground that plane and save so many others. And I just hope that we will always remember and honor those sacrifices. Biggest thing that was just a, there was no class, um, the f events were canceled, parents were calling, like it was just a lot of even quasi chaos, but I will say once it all settled, it was just a lot of just silent emotion that we were experiencing and not knowing what was next, what was gonna happen, um, how we responded, and, um, and then obviously the, the emotion hit in of this really affected a lot of Americans, right? A lot of Americans died for this. And so seeing that and the stories and the heroic stories that you heard uh, the weeks later of, of what happened turned that silence to, pr I was really proud of them putting the, the flag up in the rubble uh, on the day one or two. And just the proudness I felt and I think everybody else around felt that we were still standing as a country I mean, we've, we've all seen it when, when our president was on that pile of rubbish and that, um, that flag that we had hanging there and pep talk he gave to the responders that were there, which, which was another just overwhelming thing is seeing all of the people that, that after the fact just pretty much stopped whatever they were doing to, to get to New York however they could to, to help. And you, you started seeing that all across the country where it was just, you know, neighbor helping neighbor and um, people flying flags, just a lot of patriotism and a lot of unification of the country. It's beautiful seeing all the volunteers and first responders and everyone who dropped everything to, to help out um, on that day. And 
I think that it still gives me tears seeing videos to this day. Never forget. Never forget. Never forget. Never forget. Never ever forget.